The Saints could have been in play for a starting quarterback, but Drew Brees under contract for reportedly two years, $50 million, but it's got to be a dummy second year. It's a one-year deal. we got to see what the cash flow is for this year. They have that $21 million in cap space they have to deal with. My guess is he got a gigantic signing bonus, and they spread that over two years to deal with that cap number. He's still going to have a big cap number for 2020, but he's the guy – and Taysom Hill will presumably be there as well. And it's going to be interesting, Chris, to see how they divide the labor in 2020 between Breeze and Hill as they get ready for 2021 when presumably Breeze retires and Hill takes over. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's not, a, not, not unexpected, any of this, right? We, we knew this was going to happen. Breeze, you know, uh, I, I'm sure was patient here in the fact that you know, I'm sure the Saints and Sean Payton and everybody – you know, have been talking to Teddy Bridgewater. You know, they were still trying to figure out the taste of Hill situation. They got all that figured out. But to me, Mike, here's the thing that jumps out to me. You know, hey, we know Taysom Hill's the future. But if they still want to use Taysom Hill in a creative way and use him like we've seen the last two years and expand that, they need to sign even another quarterback. You know, they got to have this year's version of Teddy Bridgewater. So, in case a breeze does get hurt or banged up, you know, that they can either make Taysom Hill the backup and have somebody be insurance to him or, you know, have the backup play and Taysom Hill splits duty and they use him creatively too. So they're still in a little predicament here to me to where they're going to have to get another quarterback down there to be a little bit of a fail-safe plan for Taysom Hill if they want to still use him as this jack-of-all-trades player. Because, hey, when you're playing fullback and – tight end and you're running the ball at quarterback, there's a chance you could get banged up. And what if he gets banged up and then the next week Drew Brees, let's just say, sprains his ankle and he can't play? What the hell do the Saints do? So I think they're going to have to have a backup plan for their backup plan here in New Orleans. But the, the Brees news, not, not necessarily shocking. Well, and the speculation I saw that makes a lot of sense, find a way to bring Chase Daniel back to New Orleans if you, you need that veteran who can step in and and back up Drew Brees so Taysom Hill can keep being Taysom Hill because you have to have a separate offense when Hill takes over, and that presumably will be in 2021. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.